Hi, I'm Mindy Peters, the Solutions Manager at SPI, and in this video, we are going to take a look at ConvertKit's Visual Automations Templates. Now, in the past, I've taken you through a lot of ConvertKit automations, and even in the first videos that I recorded for this channel, we were using one of their automation templates, but ConvertKit has just released a bunch of new templates. Let's take a look. So I'm in ConvertKit here, and I got here by going to Automate, and choosing visual automations. That's how I got to where I am at now. And right here are the templates. And if you've been in here before, we've got a whole bunch of new ones for you. It's so exciting to see what they've added here. And even better, there's a bunch of really great classifications here. You'll see they all have little tags on them telling you what the templates are um, for in some cases. For some of them, it lets you know if you need a higher tier convert kit plan and if it is using a product that you might have set up in ConvertKit or linked into ConvertKit, if you're using a sequence, and if you're using landing pages. ConvertKit is very focused on creators, and so you will see we've got things that are specific in here for musicians, for podcasters, for writers. So let's just take a quick look, and I wanna show you a few of these because I think they're great inspiration for what you could be doing here. So this one is great. Welcome subscribers to your podcast. So let's hit the preview button and we can take a look here. So what we've got here, this automation is um, for any podcaster who just wants to welcome new subscribers in and give them some background information on their podcast. But then there's also an automation in here, let me see, where you release a new podcast. This is if you're launching your podcast for the very first time, this is a great recipe for what you can be doing both with a landing page or with just maybe you've got a landing page already built on your website, but you want to tag any subscribers that come into a form there. You can use the tag option and then this gives you a great sort of walkthrough of what you do before your podcast launch date and then what you do after your podcast launch date and how you can segment how you're talking to folks based on whether or not you know if they've listened to your podcast or not. So that's a really great inspiration for what you can be doing as a podcaster. There's also some templates in here for writers. So you can pitch your book by giving away the first chapter for free. Let's take a quick look at that here. Um, and so we've got a landing page, or again, if you were using your main website, you could use a tag here instead or a form. Actually, this one it might even, yeah, that's a landing page, but you could instead replace this with a form. And it walks through, here's a pitch for your, for your book. It looks like this is a cookbook. And then it just waits until if that person makes a purchase, then it's got a follow-up sequence from there. So I want you to take a look at these and see if any of these are relevant to you and to your business. And then when you are ready to use one, so this is the one that we've used before and there's actually three or four videos on the channel about how to use this particular, um, how to use this particular template. Let's go back to the top here. I wanna take a look at this run a paid newsletter. So I'm gonna click use this template and the automation will get copied into my account. So now the automation has been copied in to my account. And one of the things I love here is if you see these little notes here, click on that and you can see notes from ConvertKit letting you know what you're supposed to do with each step of the automation. I really love that this feature has been added in. So let's click here. So we've got the landing page here and you can customize all of the copy on here. You can change your template if you want to. And even if you don't wanna use that, let's say you don't wanna use a landing page for this paid newsletter, but instead you've got a page on your website. What you can do instead of using their landing page is come here to the right and this will add another entry into this automation. And so instead you could switch this to joins a form and you could create a custom 
custom form that you embed on your existing website. And then that can be a way into this automation or you could even just use is added to a tag. And so if anybody clicks a link in one of your existing email newsletters, they can get added to a tag that will send them into this automation. All of this is customizable as you go through. We've got then an email sequence and you can customize the email sequence. You can change the look of it. You can change the copy. You can add in new emails. So just walk through this process and customize it as you go so that it fits you and your needs. Before we leave this, let's look at the bottom half of this automation and it's really cool. So what you see here is um, an event. This is saying when any of my products are purchased, then we're going to move them into this welcome sequence. And what you can do from here is just choose the appropriate product, whether it is a ConvertKit product, so that ConvertKit paid newsletter that you have set up, or if maybe you're using some other kind of system, you could pull in another product that you've integrated into ConvertKit. The takeaway that I want you to have from this video is that the ConvertKit templates are a really great way to start brainstorming ways that you can really integrate email into your existing business. To think about the online courses that you're offering, the podcast that you have, the, the writing that you're doing, and start to think about how can I introduce email into more of the steps of this process to continue to connect with my audience and really help inform them about what it is you have to offer and how you can help your audience. So we really love ConvertKit here at SPI. Um, I think that it is the perfect combination of very easy to get started with when you're new and haven't really used an email marketing platform before or have struggled with other platforms in the past, but then it is very powerful. There's a lot of automation. So as your business grows and as you get more used to using email marketing, it can really grow with you in your business. So if you'd like to get started with ConvertKit, you can use our affiliate link Link to sign up for ConvertKit by going to smartpassiveincome.com slash getconvertkit.